Kara Shalom, welcome to our watercolor journey. Today's painting focuses on layering to achieve stunning atmospheric effects. The materials used are listed in the description below. On the palette, we have dioxazine violet, Java pie, raw sienna, phthalo blue red shade, raw umber, lemon yellow and cadmium orange. Color alternatives are listed below. The Canson paper is taped to a flat board. Heinrich uses a silver number 14 mop to wet the paper in the vignette style, meaning that he does not wet the paper all the way to the edges. First up is Thalo Blue and he uses the silver black velvet number 8 round for the sky area. Then he adds a touch of dioxazine violet and allows the paint to blend gently on the paper. He follows with Java Pie to add a touch of warmth to the sky. Because he does not rinse the brush between takes, the colors blend naturally and he creates interesting combinations. Notice that he works very gently with the brush and uses the tip to blend and spread the paint. He adds dabs of raw sienna and raw umber to build the background layers. He mixes a touch of phthalo blue and raw sienna to create a cool green which he uses to create the illusion of bushes in the background. He's still working wet on wet, so the paint disperses gently on the paper. He picks up a bit of water to soften some of the edges and to help the paint flow a bit more. He uses light sweeping strokes to establish the foreground. This is just the first layer, so there isn't much definition in the painting yet. To create a bit more texture, he adds a touch of salt to the greenish line on the horizon. He uses very little salt and places it deliberately as he does not want the effect all over the page. While he waits for the salt to do its magic, he continues to add some cool green made from the phthalo blue and raw sienna to the horizon line and to the foreground. The base layer of color has settled a bit, so this next layer sits lightly on top of the first layer. You can see how the landscape is taking shape as he adds the different layers and colors. Don't be afraid to use the colors on the palette to add some interest to the foreground layers. He splatters some dioxazine violet and then raw umber onto the wet foreground to create a bit of texture and interest. Because the paper is still wet, the splatters diffuse and create lovely soft edges. During this process, the edges of the paper has dried a bit, so he uses a spray bottle to add some moisture to the paper. Do not spray too much, as it will disturb the layers that you've already added. He extends the foreground a bit to balance out the composition. Allow the painting to dry. He mixes some more gr green with um, phthalo blue and raw sienna. To create a warmer green, he adds a touch more of the raw sienna. This warmer green will bring the elements that he adds now more to the front. 
He uses the patterns created by the salt to guide him here. He uses the tip of the brush to add suggestions of bushes and trees. This is far in the background, so the elements are not prominent and not too dark. Here he uses the side of the brush and raw sienna to add the foliage. By using the side of the brush he creates a dry brush effect which gives the illusion of loose leaves on the trees. He pre-mixed some phthalo blue, raw sienna and raw umber and he uses that as a shadow color to bring more definition to the elements on the horizon line. Heinrich uses the same color to add contour lines to the foreground. Here he adds a few splatters to create more texture. Notice that the splatters do not disperse this time as the background is dry. Be careful when you splatter though. It's a good idea to place a paper towel over your sky area to prevent stray splatters from ruining your sky. It is now time to enhance the sky area with a few more layers. He uses the colors that are already in the first layer and then adds a touch of water to soften some of the edges. He won't diffuse all the edges as the harder outlines will help to give a bit of dimension to the sky area. Harder edges bring the elements more to the front. He also builds the foreground a bit more. This is a Cotman number one rigger. Heinrich will add a few more trees to the middle ground. These are more prominent, so there's a little bit more detail here.
He adds a touch of color to the base of the tree to ground it. This gives the tree a more fixed, natural look. He uses the tip of the brush to draw out very thin, spindly branches. Allow the brush to kind of move on its own. A rigger with a good snap will help you to paint beautiful, twisting branches. Here he uses the side of the rigger to add some foliage. He does not pick up a lot of paint, just enough to wet the brush a little. If you pick up too much paint, you will lose the dry brush effect that the side of the rigger will create. Heinrich decided that he wanted to add a more prominent sun, so he draws the circle with an ordinary pencil and will then lift out some of the color to whiten the sun a bit. He adds a touch of lemon yellow around the sun to emphasize the white dot. He enhances the effect of the sunset clouds with the addition of some cadmium orange. To bring harmony between the elements of the painting, he adds a dab of lemon yellow to the trees. This also gives a bit more brightness to the foliage. He uses the dark premix to add a few more shadows here and there. Adding the different layers, especially to the sky area, enhances the surreal look of the sky. Try to use the same colors at different places in your painting. Even if it's just a dab here and there, it would harmonize the composition and bring all the elements together.
Heinrich signed the painting but felt that it needed a touch more light here and there. So he used white gouache to add some highlights. Patience and layering are two key elements of watercolor painting. Take your time and allow the paint to do its magic. Your support is very valuable to us, so would you please be so kind and press like and comment on this video. Also please subscribe if you haven't already, it would help a lot to place our channel on the map. You are also welcome to share your version of the painting with us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon. Vaya con Dios.